Hi, um, I'm making a video about the new custom control function in Wing Edit. So, and especially with the viewpoint to the tap tempo for the delay effects. And as most might know, is that there are four delay effects in the Wing Rack in all the Wing consoles, and they are missing the tap tempo button on the rack itself. So that is why in on the wing rack so far what you had to do is you had to go to the uh, CC edit function which is on the setup page and you have this CC edit button on the top and then you come to the uh, CC edit panel and I'm for now for this demo I'm clicking the layer 16. What does it mean is that the wing rate itself has when you go to the custom uh, function has 16 layers. So you can 16 times 4 you can assign those two rows of buttons and these encoders uh, to do whatever you want to do whatever function you have configured via the custom controls panel. So for the for the effects you see I have the I have the four effect racks. I have the four delay effects put in the first four effect racks. So now on the wing rack so far you then um, configured the first button for example to um, to FX parameter stereo lead time, then to take the second one, FX parameter ultra tap time, the third one, FX parameter tape to lap time, and the fifth one, FX parameter delay reverb time. And then, as you see, all the buttons are blinking in the tap speed, and that's how you then could tap the time. Um, for each of those effects. Yeah? Now, you could not do that so far while Wink Edit, which was really a very, very big complaint, but now they have added that function to Wink Edit as well. So on the left side, and not like on the top side, it, as it is in the Wink Rack, they have, the team has added uh, the CC Edit button, and you're now coming to exactly the same setup page like you get on the wing rack. So it's as easy as it is since I have configured it on the wing rack it is now also available via the uh, via wing edit. So now what they did because the wing edit does not have that control surface uh, the developers have added here four uh, control buttons so that you can open up to four CC control windows now on Wing Edit, in Wing Edit. So that's how I'm positioning them. But uh, of course it would require maybe to have, a, to have a second screen mounted to it so that you have two screens. I didn't do this now, but now I take one of those panels and then click on layer 16. And you see, that's where I have now my uh, taps. So when I now go to one of the um, buses where the effect is located on, so, and I'm tapping now, you see, as the time wheel is turning and I can do the of course the same thing with the second one now the time wheel is turning as well and the third one the tape delay I'm clicking the time wheel is moving and the same thing with the fourth delay effect so that's um, excellent that this is in and just a 
a small one because this is not blinking anymore, but here on the wing rack it blinks. The taps blinking in the speed as you tapped it. There's a new setup option there, where you, which is very clever, where you can say if you at all want to have it blinking, or you want to have it blinking eight times after you tapped, as you see, or you want that it's blinking ongoing. That's a very clever feature the team has implemented. So that's it. Okay, das war's.